what's up guys welcome back to the channel and as you guys can see today is finally the day where i'm going to be showing you guys how the over fender kit or the wide body kit however you want to call it we're going to see how it looks like uh this is actually going to be my first time seeing it um i just got off uh, from work i just got home from work and this is going to be my first time seeing it i'm a little bit nervous i'm not going to lie i'm kind of scared that it's not going to look like how i imagined it and the thing is Getting this kit was a risk. Um, it was just taking a jump without seeing it, seeing it on the car. So I guess this is kind of one of those things where that if you're gonna be first, uh, you just kind of have to go ahead and do it. Just take the jump and see how it goes. So we're gonna go ahead and get the kit out and we're gonna see how the kit looks. Uh, we're gonna lay it out, inspect it, make sure that nothing's broken or anything because the box does look a little beat up. And also, once we get the kit out, I do have a little surprise for you guys. So let's go ahead and uh, get it unboxed. All right, guys, let's see how this looks. So first of all, here we have a spoiler that comes with the kit. Now, I really don't think I'm gonna be using this, so I think I'm probably gonna put it up for sale for anybody that's interested in getting it. I don't know yet. Um, I think I'm going to try it out. The thing is I can get it painted and I can get it to uh, be paint matched. That way maybe I can kind of switch back and forth if I ever want to run a um, carbon fiber or if I want to switch to a painted spoiler. So it does come with one. It's not as aggressive as I would have hoped for it to be, but it's, you know, it's simple. It's clean, uh, but we'll see. Well, I can't show you guys how it looks because I'm not going to take that one off yet. But uh, yeah, it comes with a spoiler. A little nervous because the thing is I know it's not gonna be that aggressive um, but hopefully it's aggressive enough to where it's noticeable and obviously you know you want to make it make sure that it's kind of worth it all right so here we have the rear and this is part of the rear wait no I'm lying <laughs> these are the two rears looking at it, it looks pretty good you can see the, the bulge the little arch so we're gonna put this over here and then these should be the front all right so i'm gonna go ahead and unwrap this and uh, i'll get back to you guys in just a second all right guys so i have the whole kit laid out this is all that you get with the uh, entire kit. So we, we got the spoiler over there. We got the front flares and then we got the rear. So I'm, noti I'm noticing that I'm running a little bit short on lighting. Uh, so I'm gonna have to hurry up and try to get everything mounted that way so I can get some pictures or at least I'm gonna try to do one side. And that was so I can show you guys the comparison of the before and after. And then if I have time then I'll do the full thing. That way we can get a full front view and a back view um, and then Later on, we can kind of talk about what I have to show you guys. So my first impression on the kit, it lines up really well. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, mount the front ones. I'm curious to see the front ones because I'm not sure if it's gonna line up with the, uh, the vent. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, move over to the front and uh, we'll just kind of see how the uh, whole thing looks.
Alright guys, so here's the kit from this angle. I don't know if you guys are able to see it too well, but um, just to point out, because this is uh, the M2 bumper for the F30, this kit was actually made for the M Sport bumper, and I'm not sure if there's really any that many differences. Um, I'm actually going to have to take out my old bumper and just kind of see if everything lines up with the other side. But I just want to say that it looks like it's not going to fit here. Um, I mean, it might take a little bit of playing around. But obviously we can see that this is going to be an issue and uh, I really don't want to cut it so I'm not going to be cutting this bumper. I'm going to figure out maybe just trim the bumper here. Um, I don't know. Something that I don't want to do but I mean I'll see. I'll think about it and then I'll just kind of see what I end up doing. But take a look at the rear. Look how sunk my wheels look now. And my opinion on this i think this is going to be about the width of what the e92 uh, or e90 m3s are able to run i know i think they can actually run a little bit more aggressive wheels than the f80 if i'm not mistaken so i think a maybe like a 10 and a half plus 22 would fit really nice here with the meaty tires so that's what i'm going to be looking at obviously there's going to be some gaps here because i didn't really i kind of rushed the uh, the mounting process so it's going to take a little bit more of a lining up, maybe pushing it upwards. But, I mean, I'm pretty happy with the look. The only thing I wish this would have had was like another add-on piece here to kind of merge the uh, the two pieces together, the side skirt and the uh, the rear. Maybe this is something that I can kind of figure out later on. But other than that, I mean, I think it looks really good. It just kind of it merges in here. So it has like a nice... Um, transition between the uh, the two parts here's the front and no flare and we're done what do you guys think let me move this oh man it's different it actually looks pretty good though it looks better than what I, what I expected it's aggressive. It's actually more aggressive than the F80 for sure. Um, but it, it flows. It just works. Boy, this thing looks aggressive. This definitely doesn't look stock anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually digging the, uh, you know, I was really thinking about molding it onto the car, but I think just painting them white would actually look good enough. And it's the line is really not that out of place it doesn't look like it's out of place to me but you guys can be the judge um obviously molded would look a lot better but then again it's a lot more work a lot more time and honestly i'm okay with the look like this now if you could just imagine with the car having a good set of wheels a nice aggressive stance i approve Alright guys, it's day two. I actually ended up mocking up the kit last night or well, yesterday evening and I ended up running out of light. I noticed that I went back, I finished the video, I finished filming, but then I realized that the lighting was just not to my expectations. Uh, the lighting was bad. It got dark on me quick. So I'm out here going to be redoing some of the clips. Alright, so what I'm about to show you guys, it's going to make a little bit more sense. But if you guys notice the front of the car, even without the flares, the bumper has a little bit of a curve and I actually got a OEM F80 M3 bumper. I decided that I really wanted to have more of a curve and just kind of how you see the F80s. So I figured that getting the F80 bumper was probably the best way to go. And plus also the, um, the, the fuser options for these cars are very limited. And um, I looked around and even though now that AA Concept released a diffuser that I really like, by the time that he finally announced the date that it was going to be coming out i had already bought the bumper and i had already kind of made my mind on what i was going to be doing with the kit and um yeah so we got the bumper over there which i'm sure you guys probably saw it earlier in one of the uh, the clips so i'm going to show you guys and then i got a good deal on it i found it for a really good price ship with the sensors and i was like you know what i'm just going to go ahead and do it um I've seen other bumpers that don't have any of the like reflectors of the trim pieces and anything like that sell for more. So once I saw it, it was a no-brainer. There's 
very very little imperfections on the uh, the bumper itself but I think paired with everything uh, the wide the flares of wide body and the aggressive um, m2 bumper the m3 just makes more sense because I can actually once I get that bumper on the car I'm gonna be able to run a f80 diffuser which is gonna be more aggressive obviously you guys know there's more options for the f80 over here this is how close we can get it and obviously then we got that issue over here I've tried moving this piece around and I can kind of get this to be a little bit more closer to the edge but then that creates a little gap over here so it'll be real close up to this point and then once it gets over here it starts opening up a little bit so it's just gonna be a matter of playing around with it to see what looks best maybe I'll be able to sacrifice a little bit of gap right here and then to close up this gap over here so I'm not sure yet I'm gonna kind of let the shop whoever's gonna be doing this to kind of help me decide and then we'll just kind of take it from there and obviously I'll document I'll try to document everything that's gonna be done to the car to get it to fit perfectly so now let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the bumper so here's the bumper as you guys can see it comes with the reflectors the parking sensors it even has the little plastic trims right here a lot of the bumpers that you guys see on eBay that will um, or that you guys will see are gonna come without these this uh, it might have these but a lot of the times they're missing and then most definitely you're not going to be able to find them with the sensors but obviously if you guys have them you can actually just use your own factory ones i might just keep these uh, spares and i'll probably just stick to the uh the regular ones so right here you can actually see what i'm talking about the bumper itself has a little curve going that all the way up to the quarter panel versus the one on the f30 where it's more of a sharp angle and it doesn't look as wide so this is just going to complete the look with the uh, the flares where it's not going to look as tapered down so guys i just want to make this clip to let you guys know and explain myself on why my cinematics are of my car on jack sense so I had intentions of doing these cinematics first thing in the morning, but I got a call from my friend, which you guys have seen on this channel with the uh, 435. He ended up having a flat tire, and as you guys know, the BMWs don't come with any spares. So we're off to the rescue. I took two of my wheels off so, feet, turn left. so he can get to his destination. I would let him borrow one, but my tire sizes are a little bit different just because they were spare tires that I had laying around. So I'm gonna go meet up with him right now. He's about 25 minutes away. So luckily he wasn't too far out. So uh, we'll switch him out and then uh, yeah, we'll continue with the uh, cinematics. All right, it's 11.09. Turn right, then turn right. We should see him somewhere. Turn right, then your destination will be on the left. Where's he at? Where's he at? Oh. Your destination is on the left. And this window's foggy. Oh, there he is. BMW roadside assistance at its finest. 24 hour service for a small fee of $99.99. <laughs> Got my lovely assistant over here. Let record his uh, face of shame. I don't wait till he gets out. <laughs> he gave me the middle finger. I should just leave him for that. Mm -hmm. Should go. Let's go, babe. I'm gonna charge him an extra twenty. Extra twenty for the middle finger. <laughs> Making a video of my shame. Yes. He said road size assistance. Yes, BMW road size assistance. Now I know why. BMW. Mm. Why they do that? Like, I'm like, yo, what the? How is this shit not holding air? What's wrong with this fucking yeah, tire? All right, so two things. This is why you get an alignment after you lower your car, <laughs> and also check your uh, tires every so often. Don't worry, I almost did the same issue with my first set of wheels though. Mm. With mm. the tires that came on the on the, those wheels. I almost had that same issue, but luckily uh, I caught it right on time. Damn, this shit is off a lot. Yeah, this thing chopped it up. You got a bald spot right here, though. That's what I'm saying. Man. 
Yeah. Well, Miguel. Well, time, no, no time for new no. tires. <laughs> yeah, no even even rump flats can't save you here. Yeah, that should save me because that should probably me. Honestly, I think that's why it's balded. Because yo, I was doing like 70. When really? the shit came on, that shit said boom. So just to give you guys an idea on how much clearance you guys are actually going to be gaining uh, by going with the over fenders. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, going to measure from the edge of the quarter panel to the edge of the flare. So we're talking about like the very outside to the outside of the, uh, the flare. Then that will kind of give us an idea. So we are looking right about 2 inches in clearance. You know, give or take maybe a couple millimeters, but uh, let's see. Yep, it's right at the two mark. So you're pretty much getting about two inches, and that'll kind of help me get. Well, it'll help me try to figure out the uh, wheel specs that I'm going to be needing. Um, I kind of have an idea on what to look for, but obviously I'm going to try to find a different set of wheels to test fit, and then that way I can just play around with the uh, the fitment and kind of get a better idea on what's the right specs that I need. Um, if not, then I mean obviously I also have these. So I'm thinking that I can probably run a 10, 10 and a half plus 22 which is what a lot of the uh, E92's uh, and E90 M3's run. Um, those are like the most common size that you guys can buy for a 5x120 for just like the, that's not a custom spec so you guys can run a, well I would be able to run maybe like a 10 and a half plus 22 and then maybe use the 15 millimeter if I have to and I believe that should give me the the right fitment that I want or I might be able to make it work without the spacer who knows uh, I just got to do some a uh, little bit more calculations and then uh, for the front it's about an inch and a half in the front so you're getting two inches in the back and an inch and a half in the front which is not bad. I mean, obviously you can still keep uh, your wheel specs to be somewhat not too aggressive, not too overboard to where you can find different set of wheels because obviously with a lot of the uh, wide body kits that you guys can actually purchase. Oh, it's too bright. So with a lot of the wide body kits that you can actually purchase for this car, you have to run a custom set of wheels. And you guys know that once you buy a custom set of wheels, you're going to be dropping about four to five grand for a set. And that's kind of keeping it on the low side. That's when you have to go three-piece wheels. And, um, you know, once you sell those wheels, you're going to be lucky if you can get maybe like two to three grand out of them after paying like five grand for the brand new set. So with these flares, you can kind of keep the specs conservative to what you, I mean, you'll be able to find for like a different set of, uh, different set of wheels. So you don't, have, you don't have to get custom wheels. You can just buy a set that are already made in a certain spec. And if you need to push them out for your desired fitment, you can. Um, so that'll kind of save you guys some money when it comes to the whole flare and uh, um, wheel setup. Because I know a lot of the things, um, I don't know if you guys ever thought about it, but when you go wide body, obviously you have to take in consideration the wheels that you're going to be running. So uh, that's the reason why I didn't feel like going with the other kids that are out there for this car because they're super aggressive. And then you're forced to run a, a aggressive set of wheels unless you run some like stupid fat spacers, which I really don't want to. 10 and 15 is my limit. So, um, you know, that's why I feel like these work really well because it's only an inch and a half extra. And then in the back is two inches, which is very doable. Um, I know there's plenty of aggressive 5x120 spec wheels out there. Um, that's not, you know, overpriced or like, I wouldn't say overpriced, but like crazy expensive. All right, guys, well, that's going to do it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments down below. I'll keep you guys updated with all the progress on the car. And uh, next video, we're probably going to be doing the uh, seat install. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.